Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature, and today we've got the bits and pieces here for the Crucible of Games new Proserpine Shrine Guard that they have getting kickstarted. And I gotta say, I've had my eyes on Crucible of Games for some time. I think of all the model companies on Patreon and out there sculpting, uh, they have some of the most unique and different of the 40k adjacent type models. So the Proserpine Shine Guard, Shine Guard, Shrine Guard, if I can get the words out of my mouth correctly, are supposed to be like a guard unit, but honestly, these guys, like all good models, there's enough ambiguity in their design that you can really use them for just about whatever you want. Now, we'll be honest with you, they have a very Egyptian theme to them, and you'll see that quite apparently when I show you some of the models I've been messing around with. Uh, it's not as apparent with the basic troop body here, but they give off a very Zinchian vibe. And one of the nice things about these kinds of models is, honestly and truly, you can use them for whatever you want. So my first thought, I'll be honest, when I saw them is, I'm making Chaos Cultists. And I hope, beyond hope, that we're going to have a nice uh, selection of flaming weapons and close combat stuff. And there are definitely close combat weapons already available. Let me make one thing clear. These are modeler type models. Uh, as of right now, and I, I've actually got a few Crucible Games files on my computer, and hopefully we can show those off in the near future. Uh, I just have not gotten around to it yet. I've got some of their crazy, funky, floaty Wraith Guy things for their uh, Syndicate, which is like kind of a... Well, I guess it's kind of a greater good type stand-in, but you can basically use them for whatever. Uh, but with these guys, you can see here, so there's all kinds of individual parts. And so I had a chance also, they had a similar unit of Proserpine models before called the Proserpine Selkets, which to me almost gave off a bit of a Wakanda-ish Black Panther outfit vibe for guardsmen or chaos troops or you know xenos we'll talk about that in a sec or what have you so they have these like special little collars that are going to get printed individually uh, so as i was saying this is something you're going to have to do a lot of gluing which has its ups and downs i'll be honest with you guys uh, one of the big things that i had a hard time with were the arms since the arms are individual and then the weapons i'm looking for a regular las gun i have a regular one with no hands attached to it so i guess we'll strap that on somebody's back the hands tend to have two plugs for the wrist this is a proserpine cell kit special weapon i was playing around seeing if they were compatible and they are somewhat uh i think the sizes need to be tweaked and since these guys the shrine guard are still a work in progress uh, at least at the time that i am filming this there's a good chance that we'll get everything all nice and evenly scaled and even if we don't there's no reason you can't play around and fiddle with it yourself somewhere i had one of their heads so i can give you a good idea i was trying to blue tack it to another body here so they have a very almost necron like but they have that kind of egyptian headdress to it and uh, you can see besides the glob of blue tack on there so i actually tried slapping a head onto a cell kit body and despite the fact that there's way too much blue tech there you can kind of get an idea uh, these guys are closer in 25 millimeter scale than they are to let's say the larger 28 slash 32 millimeter that we tend to see more often on the tabletop uh, this special weapon again is one of the cell kit special weapons of which they had quite a lot i gotta give them credit crucible of games really gives you a pile of parts to work with i mean this is a modelers type model another special weapons and i'm assuming since i only had a chance to print out just a basic guy i was seeing what we could do with just those with just a basic las gun loadout or with the swords and pistols and I don't know where I put the original actual pistols. I had one glued to a guy and then I dropped him right before I filmed it. And it was outside in the dark. And I have no idea where it is now. So you can see that's a right-handed las gun pistol. Let me show you. So I started gluing some together just to get a, get a good idea. So 
These guys are very heroically proportioned. You'll see they've got very long arms. From some angles, it looks fine. From other angles, it becomes quite obvious uh, that there's some issues, I'd say. Not issues, but interesting uh, angles and anatomy going on there. But you know what? That was always the case with a lot of the GW models as well. I was talking with Sparkle Trout, and we thought, you know what? It might be fun to even use them as some kind of a, you know, Xenos adjacent if they're going to have such long limbs. Obviously, again, you can play around and squish, cut, modify to your heart's desire. I figured we'd try making a close combat one. And then I had a hell of a time trying to get these arms lined up. And this primer that I used was awful. I do not blame the models. <laughs> Any lack of detail is completely entirely up to me. So like on these hood slash shoulder pad things, there's a bunch of different designs. Uh, but you can see here, look, there's a little gap there. I could not get these arms to line up. I told Crucible Games, one thing I would suggest and hope we could see is maybe like a set of arms already attached to the gun because with the way the body is already made it's flat on both sides of the chest it should just you know like kind of slide right in i think it'd be really easy to work with in that case uh, and the interesting thing also is there's going to be quite a few different varieties i know i saw on the kickstarter page they had some really fun poses of everybody at like a marching in formation on parade i thought that'd be really cool and i showed some people locally that thought the same thing now, like I said, getting the limbs to line up the way I want them to work was a bit of a challenge. I think it's a lot easier for the close combat ones. I even tried making sure that when I printed these guys that I was using the arms that were intended and included with that pose. There were like five different poses with five different arm setups. So I really wanted to make sure that everything was with the body it was supposed to be with. Uh, I don't know if that had its intended effect or not. Oh, I didn't even show off. Yeah, there's like, even some of the other, there's like funky cybernetic claw hands. Yeah, all the hands are individual as well as the arms. So there's the cybernetic hand. Ceremonial blade. These are again from the previously released cell kit line. But then they had like these kind of oversized gun holsters, I thought. Grabbing a couple other models, just to give you guys a good idea, if you're going to mix them in with other humans or having them fight against other humans, I think they're going to work out great. Grabbing a couple of other guys that just came off the printer of roughly the same size. We've got an Anvil Grenadier here and a that evil one. Uh, I think he's a Praetorian from their recent Roman thing. So you can see, I mean, size-wise, they look about right. Uh, I think if you gave them a little boost, maybe like 5, 10, 15%, they'd be right in line with these guys. And I, I feel like the Anvil stuff is a bit on the shorter side of things. Uh, grabbing a Maker's Colt Feudal Guard. Again, other than just the bulkiness, and if you bump these guys up, I think they'll work out pretty well together. If you wanted to use them as some sort of a Stargrave crew, I know they had these kind of blank masked ones that are going to be coming up as well that gave off like these black hole engineer vibes, you know, with those crazy faceless masks they had grabbing a necromunda guy so other than the proportions being a little bit different and unique which in and of itself isn't necessarily a bad thing i mean i can't really complain about that for doing something different uh you know for more traditional sized humans i think they're going to work in great when you start using more modern upscaled stuff that isn't going to necessarily fit in with your typical grimdark type stuff, I think that's when we might start seeing some issues with sizing. And this is like where it becomes really apparent is if you start getting Primaris stuff in there. So yeah, something to think about. And I gotta say, one of the other cool things is Crucible of Games has a ton of hardware. And their hardware designs for tanks, trains, fortifications, and that stuff is rock solid and on point. Um, Maybe one of these days we'll get some of that back from Sparkle Trout to show off. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, but I know there's going to be plenty of tanks on the Kickstarter. So like I said before, we'll have that link down there if you want to check it out. We'll also put a link to Crucible of Games, my mini factory, and Patreon page as well. So you can check out some of their back catalog, which I know they'll probably be offering as add-ons as well. 
With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.